Everything about Lightroom is in collections. That's the heart and soul of the organizational structure that you wind up doing in Lightroom. Now, when you import something, by default, it always shows up in the All Photographs section, but that doesn't have any kind of structure. But directly under that, you have a something called a Quick Collection. So if you wanted to take a whole bunch of images and quickly put them together in a collection and do something, this is what you can do. You can single click on Highlight one of the images. Having that set, you'll notice that there's this little dot right here. If you click on it, that will automatically add it to the Quick Collection. To remove it, you can go ahead and just click on that same dot and it'll remove it, whether you're in the Quick Collection section or not. So that's a Quick Collection and that's well and good if you're trying to get something done quickly, but not necessarily a good long-term way for you to be able to manage your images. So let's talk about collections. The differences between collections and folders. When you put your images inside of Lightroom, obviously they're going to go into one folder. So right now I have all of this information in the Lightroom 2.0 images folder. However, in a collection, you want to be able to organize a certain amount of pictures and those pictures could span several types of folders. Not to mention the fact that you could have an image inside of this Lightroom 2.0 images folder that can be referenced in more than one collection. So collections kind of give you a different way to be able to organize information that sits in your hard drive in specific folders. So we're going to focus just on collections here. Now, there's different types of collections that you can use inside of Lightroom. The first one, I'm just go ahead and show you, you have a collection. It's a standard collection of images that you're going to put together. Then under that, you have something called a collection set. And we're going to get to smart collection a little bit later. But what a collection set does is it lets you take something and organize it even further. It's, it kind of gives it a hierarchical organizational structure. Let me show you what I mean here. Inside of this Lightroom catalog, I have a series of pictures, right? I have some wedding pictures, and it looks like I have some band pictures, some music pictures here. And at the very, very top, I have some event pictures. Now, let's just say that I shoot three different things, right? I shoot events, I shoot uh, music stuff, and I shoot wedding stuff. Rather than making a whole bunch of collections for individual ones, what I'll do is I'll make a set and hold all of these specific collections within that set. I'm going to go ahead and click on this plus sign here, and I'm going to create a collection set. And then that collection set is going to be called Wedding Photography. I'll make another collection set, and I'll call that Music Shoots. Then I'll make a third collection set, and I'll call that collection set Event Photography. Now, I have three major categories inside of this collection. What I'm going to do is I'm going to single click on these images here, and I want to throw them into a collection. So I know that these 12 that I have here are collection based. A nutcracker that I shot. So I have them selected. I just single clicked on one, held down the shift key, single clicked on the last one. That gave me all of these. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this plus sign for the collections and I'm going to create a collection. That name of that collection is going to be Nutcracker 2007 and I'm going to place that in the event photography collection set. And I'm going to click on create. Now notice under the event photography section I have a collection called Nutcracker 2007. Let's go ahead and go back to all photographs and what I'm going to do down here is I'm going to single click on the first image there. I'm going to hold on the shift key and I'm going to single click on the last image in this set. That's going to select all of them. And I'm going to click on the plus sign and I'm going to create another collection. That collection is going to be called Jane Doe Wedding 2008. And I'm going to place that in the wedding photography set. By doing that, now I have two different types of collections here. I have all of my wedding photography inside of one area. I have all of my event photography in another area. So it kind of gives it that hierarchical structure where you can say, all right, well, now you have, instead of looking through every single collection, you can just isolate what it is that you're looking for by just going to the specific event. That makes it a lot easier. I could even take the concept of collections a little bit further here. Now, 
Notice that you have the Nutcracker 2007 collection here and you have a little box. That's letting me know that it's a library collection. I'm going to switch over to the slideshow area and in the slideshow area, I'm going to create a new